Okay. Okay. Um, so we're going to look at a function with the given derivative whose graph passes through this point to 1. Okay. So we're given the derivative. So let's um, draw a graph. We're going to try to get a graph of both here. So over here I'm going to graph x and then eventually I will graph f of x. And then I'm also going to graph the derivative over here. Okay, so the derivative of the function we know is one over negative one over x squared. So let's kind of gra get a graph. We know x is greater than zero. So let's try one. So if I plug in one, I get negative one over one, which is negative one. If I plug in two, I get negative one over a fourth, which is right here. Okay, and if I plug in a half, that's going to get me closer down to negative four. So one, two, three. Okay, so the graph goes up and goes something like that. Okay, so now if we're going to look at this graph. Now, we don't know what the function looks like, but we do know um, that 2, 1 is a point on the line, and that's important because we know that there is an infinite number of antiderivatives. So this 2, 1 is going to narrow it down to just one function that will work and we know that it has to go through this point right here. Okay, so let's work backwards and say we know here that the derivative is negative x to the negative 2. Okay, if I work backwards and come up with the antiderivative, I need to come up with a function, so I need to kind of um, go up, so I need to add 1. So that's going to give me negative 1. And if we think about this, if I take this derivative of this function, negative 1 at, goes out front, and then I get x to the negative 2. Okay, so there are any constant values that we could plug in here to make this work. We don't know what that value is for c. So now we're going to go about the process of trying to find what that value of c exactly is. So we know that the point x equals 2 and y equals 1 goes through this graph. So I'm going to plug that into this function and that's going to tell me what c is. So f of x is going to be 1 is going to equal 2 to the negative 1 plus some value c. So that means 1 is equal to 1 half plus c. If I subtract a 1 half from both sides, I'm going to get that 1 half is c. Okay, so that means that I have the function y equals, or in this case I probably should say f of x because my original graph was given um, in terms of f of x. So I'm going to say f of x, okay, I know this is my derivative, but f of x is going to be 1 over x plus 1 half. And I know that x has to be greater than 0. Okay, So if I graph that function, um, if I plug in 1, that's going to be 1 and a half. Okay? And if I get these points here, the graph's going to go something like this. Okay? So I know that this is my function. Okay? This is the actual function. And this is the graph of its derivative 